What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online money making video. Today I'm going to show you a route that I've been using in Red Dead Online to make myself a bit more money. I have been doing quite a few of these routes lately and I am very much enjoying them. I hope you guys are enjoying them too. For this one we are not going to the usual locations that we go to. We are heading all the way down to Armadillo. Now a way to get there without having anyone else there is to go and spawn in Saint Denis and then fast travel to Armadillo. From Armadillo what you want to do is go and head down to this Lake Don Julio and here you can actually get yourself a decent amount of fish. You can get yourself chain pickerel, redfin pickerel, rock bass and also smallmouth bass and all of those go for a dollar each apart from smallmouth bass smallmouth bass those go for two dollars each and you should be able to go and get yourself a full satchel of every single fish in this location there are several different spots i have shown this as a video before just on this location i'll leave a link in the description down below so you can go and see that in that video i show you every single spot that you can go to to go and fish and i'm pretty sure there will occasionally be some more but there's free in this location where you can go to to always spawn in fish so you should always be able to go and get yourself a full satchel of fish and normally I don't leave until I get a full satchel of fish for the next location we are gonna head here just above the O and the L in Chola Springs this place you can go and get yourself a cougar and on the way from the fishing location to this location what I would do is just hunt every single animal that is what makes root so good on the way from different locations just hunt everything that you can see. Anything like a prohong buck, anything like that, kill it, go and store that on the back of your horse. You can go and collect quite a few different hides on the back of your horse, as well as once you go and kill and skin an animal, you will store some meats, as well as some other animal parts in your satchel, and you'll keep on stacking those up until you get a full satchel of those. So definitely hunt everything that you come across, birds in this location you do not get too many of them but you will come across stuff like condors eagles owls anything like that and those go for a decent amount of money it's not as much as what they used to go for uh, since then we've had a patch which has reduced the price of certain animals so they don't go as much as what they used to go for but they can still go for a decent amount and they all add up once you get to this location though you will have a cougar and in the clip that i'll show you i actually have this sort of technique i, I don't know what it is it seems to always work for me i don't know how i came across it it was just something of i knew that there is a cougar spawn location right on this spot but not every time that it used to spawn in but weirdly enough if you went up to the top of this hill just sort of run up the mountain and there will be a point of where it will say you cannot go this far and then you, your horse will just slide back down the mountain as soon as you go and do that and then go back to the cougar location Weirdly enough, the cougar will spawn in. And I don't know why this has always happened. It's always seemed like I can't go anywhere else. I can go to this location, go all the way back to the butchers and tumbleweed, come all the way back to this location, and the cougar will not spawn. But weirdly enough, if I go to this location and then the cougar doesn't spawn in, I go up that mountain and then let my horse slide back down and then go back to go and check the cougar location, a cougar occasionally spawns in. I do not know why it is. It seems like as soon as I go up this mountain, it seems to reset this position. But that is something you'll do if a cougar does not spawn here. But most of the time, a cougar will spawn here this is a more reliable spot to go and get a cougar at this location so uh, definitely go to this one and kill the cougar kill the cougar get your bolt action rifle out shoot it in the head and then you should be able to go and get yourself a decent cougar to go and put on the back of your horse if you have it either good or perfect you should be able to get anywhere between 10 to 15 dollars out of everything that you've got if you're going to get it poor obviously that's going to decrease in value i think that then goes to around about six or seven dollars it's really not too much uh, obviously yet yeah, again cougars are another animal that has been nerfed and they don't go for as much as what they used to but it still adds on top the fact that you're going to get all these fish you're going to get these cougars and also other animals so it still is definitely worth it to try and use these cougar locations in different money routes there is actually a second cougar location uh, i don't really go to that one that much but uh, you can if you know where it is go to that location if a cougar does not spawn in this location the third location that you want to come to is this one right here which isn't too far away from the cougar location but here is actually a very good spot to go and get a lot 
lot of birds. And as you can see with the clips that I've got, I actually managed to go and get myself a decent amount of birds. Another good thing about this area is that frequently a condor will fly over. And yet again, I did say earlier that condors don't go for as much as what they used to, but you can still get decent money out of them. And they are pretty rare birds. Like you don't always see them, but in this spot, Every time I come here, I see a condor fly over, and with that, I go and kill it, use my varmint rifle to bring it down, and then pluck the feathers, and then I also go and store the condor on the side of my horse, and then go and take that back to the butcher. But after this location, this route is only three locations, I'll head back to Tumbleweed to go and sell everything. Everything, well, should, I should be making at least $80 out of all this, with the birds that I hunt, with all the animals that I hunt, the cougar, and also all the fish as well, I should be making myself a decent amount of money which doesn't take too long it'll take maybe like 20 30 minutes maybe pushing 40 depending on how many time or how long you spend trying to go fishing fishing is the one that takes the longest amount of time everything else is come to this location quickly shoot this animal and then go to the next one the birds the the birds are very frequent flyers, so you will always see them around, so that's not too much of a problem. And at that point, it's, it, it then becomes whenever you're ready to go and sell stuff at the butchers, you can go and sell the butchers because Tumbleweed isn't too far away. As soon as I get to Tumbleweed and sell everything, there is a fast travel at the edge of Tumbleweed, and I'll fast travel all the way back to Armadillo to then go and do this route again. But anyway, guys, that is the route that I am currently using in Red Dead Online. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, but for now, I'm going, so see ya.